people, I'm Ginny Metherill, I'm a fourth generation witch and welcome to my channel. So we're coming up to the 1st of February, that incredible pagan festival of Imolk. This has always been celebrated with the use of the pagan square cross, otherwise known as the Breed Cross, the Bridget Cross, the Bride Cross, depending on your religion, and the Christians know it as the Saint Bridget's Cross because they tried to incorporate this pagan symbolism into their religion when they were taking over pagan practices to, you know, make them more Christian. It is, however, of deeply Celtic origin, and one of my subscribers has asked me to show you how you can make one, and so here it is. Right, I have my cutty thing, so I'm going to go and pick some reeds. Of course it's winter and there is very little around. The fields are bare, and the only green things around are going to be the thick grassy reeds. So we're going down to this area here. This is the common rush plant and it grows in boggy areas everywhere. So I've got plenty. You need not this many, but I'm gonna make a few because I want to give them away to my friends. So the first thing we're going to do is to cut them all to the same length. Each cross takes traditionally nine reeds to make. And so that's how many you'll need. Take your first reed and bend the second reed at its midpoint around it, like this. Take your third reed and bend it at its midpoint around the main two reeds that are sitting up. Turn and take a fourth reed and do the same. And keep taking your reeds and bending them around the uprights, turning, taking a reed and bending it around the uprights until you have used all of your nine reeds. However, you could use more, which I'm going to do because I like a thick Bridget's cross. Try and keep the central piece all together and tight, which is why I'm holding it with my thumb and fingers and pushing the reeds down into the tightness of the square to keep them together, like so. Keep adding in reeds until you are happy with the size and shape. And I have now ended up with something looking like this. This is when you take some wire, like I've got here, which is florist wire, but you could use string or cotton or whatever takes your fancy. I prefer wire because it's more easy. And I tie off the ends and then trim them until they look neat and tidy. And so now your Bridget's Cross is ready for your altar and offerings. I always make a few of these because I like to give them away to friends and family for their use. So I love a St Bride's Cross. Traditionally they're made on the 31st of January for use on the 1st of February in Malk. You would hang them on your doors and windows and from your rafters if you had one of those very old fashioned thatched roofed houses in order to prevent negative entities and energies from entering your home and bringing you good luck for the rest of the year. You also use them to decorate your Imolk altar with because they are part of the symbolism of the pagan tradition at this time. And I can't show you my altar because I, I haven't actually made it yet, but I will do. So do go to my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherall because I'll be putting up the images of my Imolk altar on that platform and telling you the traditions and the reasonings of what is on my altar and why there. So hopefully see you there. In the meantime, please don't forget to like and subscribe because your subscribing directly affects my channel. And so I would be seriously grateful if you could do so. And otherwise, I'll see you next week. <laughs>